Israel is known as a center of invention and innovation. And one of the greatest things to come out of Israel is the Iron Dome, which has saved countless Israeli lives over the years. Let's explore what it is and how it came to be. Shalom, my friends. This is the Kiva Gertz with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in 5 minutes. Please like and subscribe. But if you have any questions and want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. Before we look at the Iron Dome, let's look at Israeli security in general. Since its birth in 1948, Israel has been dealing with serious, real, and existential threats from many of its neighbors, sometimes all of its neighbors, both countries and terrorist groups that have rooted themselves in neighboring countries. As a result, one of the first things that Israel did in order to protect its citizens is build bomb shelters all over the country in neighborhoods, in public parks. These are underground bomb shelters that people in the neighborhood and the community can go to in case of need, especially around volatile border areas. In the beginning of the state of Israel, most borders were uh, seeing security threats, but especially in the north, along the border with Lebanon and with Syria. But that's not to exclude the borders with Jordan and Egypt as well, which basically means that Israel was surrounded on all sides by neighbors that were looking to not only defeat it, but destroy it. So these bomb shelters can still be found today all over the country. Uh, over the years, in more peaceful times, um, especially after Israel made peace with Egypt uh, in 1979 and with uh, Jordan in 1994, the need for these shelters became less. Many of them turned into to community centers uh, and were used for other things as well. In recent times, specifically this past year in the ongoing war with Hamas and Hezbollah, those bomb shelters had to be cleared out and be ready for use once again by members of the neighborhood and community. Um, in addition to these bomb shelters, uh, eventually Israel started getting attacked by rockets uh, fired at it by the Hamas terror organization in the Gaza ship. The first rocket to be launched by Hamas was in 2001. That was uh, against communities in the Gaza Strip. And in 2002, the first rocket launched by Hamas landed on Israeli soil. Uh, one of the first rockets, if not the first rocket to be shot at uh, Israel, uh, landed in Sterot, uh, which is less than a kilometer away from the border with Gaza. The mayor of Sterot at the time said this will be the first rocket and this will be the last rocket ever shot at us. Unfortunately, that was very untrue. And since then, Steyrot alone has um, received thousands of rockets falling on it by Hamas, uh, as well as the Islamic Jihad in the Gaza Strip. So what did Israel do about that? First of all, many years ago, it developed an air raid system to warn people of incoming rockets and missiles, giving them time to run to the bomb shelters that were built in their communities. Uh, in certain areas, people had 10 seconds to run, some 15 seconds, some 20 seconds, depending on how far away they were from the source of the rocket attack. But this was a very, very crucial addition to Israel's defense systems and the protection of its citizens because it gave people advanced warning, even if it was just a few seconds, in order to allow them to run for cover and do what they can to protect themselves. Eventually, this air raid system was called Seva Dome, which means code red and uh, was implemented all over the country. Eventually, in more recent years, uh, developed as an app on phones so people can hear it also on their phones, not only from a siren outside. In addition to the public shelters, eventually Israel passed a law that all new homes needed to have their own safe room. This was a, a room with super thick poured concrete walls, um, special windows and special doors in case of need. Um, a family can go into this room and stay there, be safe, and be protected. Uh, this is now found all over Israel, and uh, this, again, has helped to protect and to secure lives of millions of Israelis during multiple, multiple rocket attacks on Israel, Israel by its enemies. So these are different defenses that Israel has used to protect its people. And now let's get to the biggest story, and that's the Iron Dome. The Iron Dome was developed by, by Israel and first deployed in 2011. I still remember the first war that the Iron Dome was used in. It was a game changer, right? Just to make sure we all understand what the Iron Dome is, this is a special defense system that uh, tracks incoming missiles 
will do the calculation very quickly if this rocket will land in a populated area or in an open area where nobody is living. If it is going to land in an open area where nobody is there, uh, the rocket will be allowed to, to land. Nothing will, uh, the Iron Dome will not um, be activated against it since there are no people and there are no buildings there. But if it is headed towards a populated area, then immediately uh, a rocket uh, is sent up into the sky faster, to th faster than the incoming rocket and will hit the rocket in the air, exploding it into pieces, and the rocket never falls on a populated area. The Iron Dome has an incredible success rate of 90% or more. And this has been an absolute game changer in terms of the defense and security of the people of Israel. Because since the first rocket was launched by Hamas in 2001, tens and tens and tens of thousands of rockets have been shot at Israel. And that's not to mention the tens and tens and tens of thousands of rockets that Hezbollah has shot at Israel from southern Lebanon. So there are Iron Dome batteries all over this country, uh, saving Israeli lives, especially in this war that we're in right now. Uh, this is a very expensive system. Each rocket that is sent up into the sky costs about $50,000. Sometimes, especially the rockets coming out of the Gaza ship, sometimes to knock out a rocket that maybe costs $500 uh, to build. Uh, but it is all for the defense and the safety and security of the uh, people of Israel, so there's no price tag, continues to be used, continues to be a game changer. Uh, and especially in this ongoing war, we are seeing just how much the Iron Dome is saving Israeli lives. So between the public bomb shelters, the house bomb shelters, uh, the air raid siren system, and the Iron Dome, Israel has invested at this point probably billions and billions of dollars in the protection of its Israel, right? Because Israel cares about its people, right? And Israel is inspired by and motivated and guided by the ancient Jewish teaching, which teaches us to choose life. Thanks so much and be well.